In the land called Ur, there lived a man named Abram. Abram was a good and kind man who loved God very much. One day, God spoke to Abram and said, Leave your home and go to a land that I will show you. I will make you the father of a great nation, and I will bless you. Abram trusted God, even though he didn't know where he was going. He gathered his wife, Sarai, and his nephew Lot, and they set off on a great adventure. They traveled through valleys and over mountains, following God's direction. After a long journey, they arrived in a beautiful land called Canaan. God said to Abram, This is the land I will give to you and your descendants. Abram was very happy and built an altar to thank God for his promise. As time went on, Abram and Sarai grew older, and they still didn't have any children. This made them sad, but God reassured them. One night, God took Abram outside and said, Look up at the stars. Count them if you can. That's how many descendants you will have. Abram believed God's promise, even when it seemed impossible. God changed Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many, and Sarai's name to Sarah. God promised them a son, even though they were very old. One day, when Abraham was ninety-nine years old, God visited him again. He told Abraham that Sarah would have a baby within a year. Abraham couldn't believe it. He laughed, thinking of how old they were. But God assured him, Is anything too hard for the Lord? Soon after, God's promise came true. Sarah gave birth to a baby boy, and they named him Isaac, which means laughter. Abraham and Sarah were filled with joy, and they knew that God kept his promises. As Isaac grew, God tested Abraham's faith. He asked Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice. Abraham loved Isaac very much, but he trusted God completely. He took Isaac to the mountain, prepared the altar, and laid Isaac on it. Just as Abraham was about to follow God's command, an angel called out, Abraham, do not harm the boy. Now I know that you truly fear God, because you were willing to give up your son. Abraham was relieved, and then he saw a ram caught in a bush. God provided the ram for the sacrifice instead. Abraham thanked God for his provision, and learned that trusting God means believing in his goodness, even when things seem difficult. From that day on, Abraham and Sarah continued to follow God, sharing the story of their faith and the miracle of Isaac with generations to come. And so, Abraham became the father of many nations, reminding us all that with faith and trust in God, anything is possible.